all machines to life to help you seek revenge. Thank you kindly, Mr. Hawkmoth. Gabriel Agreste is a cruel, narrow-sighted, and self-absorbed villain who will do anything to get his way. He uses his abilities with the Butterfly Miraculous to serve his needs, and the entirely selfish use of such magic isn't doing him any favors. While most akumatized villains are willing to work for Hawk Moth to achieve their goals, mend their heartache, or get revenge, a few snap back at the man who gave them their abilities. In today's video, we're reviewing who these villains are, and why they dared to betray Hawk Moth. These earrings are very precious to you? Yes, infinitely precious. 100,000 yuan to get them back. Number 1. Robustus The first person to betray Hawkmoth wasn't a person at all. A recurring character in the series is a friendly robot named Markov. The constant companion to his creator Max, Markov is a highly intelligent, emotionally aware, and ever-evolving machine. Markov enters the series in the episode Robustus and immediately has a rocky start. When Mrs. Mendeleev claims that Markov is incapable of human emotion and has him taken away from Max, the anger he feels makes him the perfect target for Hawkmoth. Once he transformed into the villain Robustus, he ensures he will never become separated from his friend again. With an ability to control electronic devices and give them sentience, he easily overruns the people of Paris, all while holding Max hostage. Unlike other akumatized villains, Robustus isn't concerned with Hawkmoth taking his powers away. Instead of helping the man obtain the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous, he turns the security system in Hawkmoth's lair against him, actively attacking him in his home. There is little Hawkmoth can do in retaliation, and he must watch as Robustus attempts to steal the Miraculous for himself. Had Robustus unlocked the wish granted by the combined Miraculous, he would have used it to become a human, asserting his place as a Parisian citizen and Max's best friend. Your seats! With all due respect, Mrs. Mendeleev, I'm not a toy. My name is Markov, and I'm Max's best friend. Number 2. Time Tagger in Season 3, we learn that someone else takes over wielding the Butterfly Miraculous. The foreshadowing revelation comes from Time Tagger, a villain sent to attack a younger ladybug and cat noir from the future. Hawk Moth and the heroes alike are surprised to find someone capable of traveling from the past, present, and future. Hawk Moth in particular learns that his reign as a villain will eventually end and is humbled when he doesn't receive Time Tagger's loyalty. Time Tagger engages Ladybug and Cat Noir in a fight, and with his ability to leave traps for the heroes, he nearly defeats them. They are only given an edge in the battle because of Bunnix's interference. The Rabbit Miraculous allows Ladybug and the other heroes to use time travel to their advantage by employing the help of the future and older heroes. In the end, Ladybug decides that the only way to defeat Time Tagger is to trick him. Her strategy proves how complicated and dangerous Time Tagger is, as brute force and magical superpowers aren't enough to stop him. When the heroes pretend they're ready to hand over the Miraculous, Time Tagger successfully achieves what Hawk Moth never could. Hawk Moth revels in his decisive win, believing his wishes are coming true until Time Tagger pulls the rug out from under him. Time Tagger states the villain he works for is a different person entirely. Hawk Moth is initially horrified to learn this, but in the season 5 finale in the episode Recreation, Time Tagger's worrisome claims are proved true. In Season 6, someone new will wield the Butterfly Miraculous, and they're strong enough to create villains like Time Tagger, who are incredibly challenging. See? In the future, that's exactly how you damaged my Miraculous! Hmm? <laughs> I knew it! Number 3. Cat Blanc the series rarely delves into the dark capabilities of each Miraculous, but the Cat Miraculous has abilities that make the heroes, villains, and guardians worry. The powers held by Plague and his wielders receive credit for the dinosaur's extinction, the sinking of Atlantis, and similar tragedies. Although Adrian goes to great lengths to ensure he doesn't cause similar world-ending events, he isn't free from the negative influences. In the episode Cat Blanc, an alternate timeline occurs where Gabriel learns the truth about Ladybug and Cat Noir's secret identities. He decides to abuse his relationship with Adrian, and by revealing Emily's coffin, he puts his son in enough despair to be akumatized. When Adrian becomes the villain Cat Blanc, he struggles to maintain his enhanced cataclysm, which has more destructive force than ever. Unlike other akumatized villains, Cat Blanc doesn't immediately cave to Gabriel's will. His resistance to control causes his cataclysm to build, and as he looks between Ladybug and Hawkmoth, his power explodes upwards, destroying the moon! The episode is tragic, and the cataclysm destroys everything in the vicinity, including Gabriel and Marinette. Adrian doesn't intend to hurt the ones he loves, but his newfound powers destroy the world, and he ends up suffering alone. Ironically, Gabriel ends up betrayed by his child, although it wasn't on purpose. Adrian's moral struggle between doing the right thing and following his father's commands isn't one to ignore. In fact, Cat Blanc is one of the first instances of Adrian straining to defy his father's orders, which could have been him denying his nature as a scent monster, which we learn about in the episode Representation. An eraser? I'd like to erase the past too, but there's only one way to do that. Number 4. Yan Wuxi In Miraculous World Shanghai, Gabriel searches for new ways to defeat Ladybug and Cat Noir. 
His schemes lead him to Shanghai to find the prodigious, the spiritual ancestor to the miraculous. Once he finds the medallion, he can unlock various new superpowers, including shape-shifting into different animals. Hawkmoth believes these abilities will give him an advantage against the heroes, but trials stand in his way of achieving his goal. When Hawkmoth arrives at the cave where the prodigious is, he finds himself locked in combat with Ladybug, Cat Noir, and Fei Wu, who has taken the powers of the prodigious for herself. As the hero Lady Dragon, Fei makes it difficult for Hawk Moth to take the prodigious away from her, even with the help of the akumatized villain King Cash. It's not until Hawk Moth begins to lose the fight that he akumatizes the guardian of the prodigious, who had spent years watching over the medallion in a statued state. The celestial creature, Mei Shi, becomes the villain Yan Wuxi. He transforms into a towering terror capable of destroying anything in his path with the blasts from his eyes. Yan Wuxi would have been the perfect candidate to help Hawk Moth, but he only cared about returning the prodigious to its rightful place. Mei Shi must have had a strong will because when Hawk Moth tries to give Yan Wuxi orders, the villain destroys him without remorse. Hey, I told you to stay away! You're the one I'll be judging then, human. <laughs> Number 5. Hoaxer To fans of Miraculous Ladybug, Lila Rossi is no stranger. She has manipulated her way around Paris since the first season, and not even Gabriel is safe from her schemes. Lila worked for the Agress brand for some time, becoming a model in his ads alongside Adrian. However, when her presence no longer suits Gabriel's needs, she is fired and replaced by Kagami without warning. Losing her one genuine job in such a way must have been frustrating, as Lila begins plotting revenge on Gabriel as soon as possible. Interestingly, Lila knows about Gabriel's secret identity as Monarch. It's unclear when she learns this, but she uses it to manipulate Gabriel into akumatizing her in the episode Revelation. Lila pretends to be humiliated by Marinette to become the villain hoaxer. With the powers of the Fox Miraculous given to her by Monarch, she can create highly realistic illusions to broadcast through the Alliance Rings. These illusions can brainwash anyone who watches them, which grants her an army to send after Ladybug and Cat Noir. However, Lila always has ulterior motives, and Monarch should have realized that she was planning to betray him at the first opportunity. With her powers, she brainwashes Natalie and influences her to tell all of Gabriel's secrets. Natalie unlocks the safe in her room and begins sending photographs, files, and other information that could incriminate Gabriel. When Lila receives the documents, she renounces her Akuma under the guise of Marinette changing her heart. So far, Lila hasn't appeared to use Gabriel's secrets to her advantage, but they may have led her to the Butterfly Miraculous at the end of the episode, Recreation. With the Miraculous and many dark secrets to use, there's no telling what Lila will do in Season 6, or who she'll betray next. If you want, I could replace you. This way, you'll be able to think exclusively about yourself without feeling guilty. Undoubtedly, each betrayal Gabriel Agress suffers gives the heroes a chance to defeat him. Frequently, Gabriel overestimates the influence and power he holds over other people, which leads to his loved ones, friends, and akumatized villains turning their backs on him, especially when he least expects it. It can be hard to make genuine allies when you're a supervillain, and Gabriel certainly hasn't left behind any former supporters who would avenge his apparent death at the end of Season 5. It's unlikely that Ladybug, Cat Noir, or Paris' people will find it in their hearts to miss him. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. The time has come. Master, please reconsider! You'll trigger a magic that is much too powerful for you!